144. So Rock Shepard 12 verse 10, and it reads, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops, the great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit. You see that picture up there, right? Do you know who I am? Yes, the devil, all right? And what is the scripture saying to you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians? Let's read it again. Sirach chapter 12, verse 10, and it reads, Never trust thine enemy. Lunch break lesson. Lord, one of the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are edified, you know? Never trust thine enemy. Everything is coming out. Everything this devil prescribed for you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians was harmful to you. But, but oh yeah, you trusted, you trusted this devil, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even trust the Lord. The scripture say, never try. I'm gonna read it again. Just something quick, man. I'm never trusting your enemy, man. See, see, see the thing about it? You either gonna get it or you're gonna get it. Get it? You Nick Rose Light, and the like is getting ready to storm. You Nick Rose Latinos and Native Americans and you Israelite foreigners, which we're all foreign, but you Israelites have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. They may look like these heathen nations. You either gonna get this message, you either gonna get it. Get it, or you're gonna get it, get it. You see? Look at look at Jake. Jake threw right about now. Trusted in this devil. Now it's coming out, you know what I'm saying? That the six feet, the six feet, you know what I'm saying? Get stay away from this person. You know what I'm saying? It's all made. That's all the shit was made up. You just like so damn simple, man. Y'all fall for everything. This devil say, man. Let the scripture go into. I think it's um Jeremiah 7 and 8. You trust in lying words that can't profit you anything. Our people people really trusted the devil. You see? 144, you know what I'm saying? 144. I ain't even gonna try to even turn the camera around. 144 right there. Kyle you have Bashim Yamsha. What or two? You know what I'm saying? Wisdom. They see the, see the 144,000. You know what I'm saying? They got the um, the complete wisdom of the scriptures. You see? Complete wisdom, man. You see? 100 percent truth according to the Bible, right? But I want to read this again. This is something quick. I'm on lunch break. And I'm gonna make this on quick, but one thing about it, I put my phone on um do not disturb. Can't say can't nobody call me, can't nobody interrupt the lesson, right? Let's get this. So rock chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. You Israelites have enemies. Go to Psalms 83. You're not, and um, if brothers come in and put um, scriptures on the board, I'm on this app. They won't even let me um, see the scriptures, things of that nature. But it's a lesson within a lesson. Maybe when I watch it later, come up with another lesson. I'm saying scriptures that brothers put up. You see? And shalom to the, um, the hopeful elect ladies, the few sisters that still, you know what I'm saying, taking heed to the message. You see? Let everybody else fall to the wayside. We really don't care. We're only here for the elect, right? Sirach so chapter 12, verse 10, and it reads, never trust, never. What part of that? Do I, do I need to get the definition? Do I need to get the definition? No, I didn't. As a matter of fact, I ain't going to try to copy it. Let's get never right quick. Never. You see it right there in Israel? This is gonna, like I said before, this is going to be something quick. Never. Not ever. Not no time. You see? Let's go here. Let's go here. Never, not ever, not at no time, not in any degree, not under any condition. Are, are we not seeing this? Are we not didn't seeing this? Never. You know what I'm saying? Never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever. Anything else? Suppose they've been giving me more than that, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it is what it is. Once again, so Rock chapter 12, verse 10, it reads, Never trust thine enemies, Israel. Not at any time, not for the money, not for the love of money, not for a blank check, not for nothing. Never trust your enemy. You Israelites took, trusted your enemy. You took that damn Capri Sun. You know what I'm saying? You, you drank that Kool-Aid. And look at you, man. All kind of complications. And we got to speak with wisdom, of course, because we want the video to stay up. But just another warning. A fool not to trust is right here. Right here, Israel, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rust is so it's his wickedness. And I want to jump down. Just like I said before, just something quick. I just started my bringing. I think somebody called me already. But they couldn't interrupt the lesson, though, because I got it on um, Do Not Disturb. So good. This is Rock chapter 12, verse 13. 
And now they um, pretty much got um, Fauci, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I call him Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They got him in court right about now, you know what I'm saying? He, he got to, you know what I'm saying, pretty much try to plead his case. You Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, you should have never trust these devils, man. Under no circumstances, man. Never trust them, man. You see? The scripture says, iron rust is throwing his wickedness, man. You can take a bike, sit it in the, um, in the backyard. If it rain, that metal going to start rusting, right? And you can take some um, sandpaper, wipe that rust, you know what I'm saying, off that bike. But guess what? Guess what that rust going to do? That rust going to come back. So, so this man, you know what I'm saying, is clean shaven. You know what I'm saying? This man got on a, um, a suit. You know what I'm saying? A five-piece suit. You know what I'm saying? It's clean shaving. You know what I'm saying? Nice car. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. It don't matter what this devil got. Never trust them, man. He's your enemy. So Rock chapter 12, verse 13. The reason, who we pity a trauma that is bitten with the serpent. You go around playing with a snake, thinking everything thing is all motherfucking funny, thinking everything is all good. Hey, snake. Hey, snake. Then the snake bites you. Then what? The serpent bites you. Do we supposed to feel bad for it? You knew it was a snake. We, look, we said, hey, yo, don't go over there. Snake is over there. A deadly venomous snake is right over there. Don't go over there messing around. Yo, really? I really? I really? You go over there playing with the damn snake. So who's going to bid bid who's who's going to um, pity a trauma that's bitten by a damn snake or serpent, right? You you yeah, you actually trust it and sleaze it. You had you had ninja, you know what I'm saying, getting the fucking drinking the juice, you know what I'm saying, just to get a um a sandwich from McDonald's. So this devil, this devil really loves us. He giving us free donuts, you know what I'm saying? Only thing with you had a damn governor, you know what I'm saying, of New York eating his damn sandwich. Was that one the same sandwich that you would have got at McDonald's? They gave him a they gave him some shit straight out of a good restaurant. They want no Mac they put it in a McDonald's bag, but they want no McDonald's burger. That dude got you know what I'm y'all can put up put his name on the comment board because I don't really remember. But he was on the, he was on the, uh, he was on the, what was it, the news? He was in the news. He was on the news, you know what I'm saying? Eating a, eating a cheeseburger, you know what I'm saying? Like it was from McDonald's. So I was like, ooh, these fries taste good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you had niggas, you know what I'm saying? Third mouth watering. So I was like, yo, them fries do look good, yo. Check my um, spider web or something. Oh, them fries do look good, yo. Look at that. Here we go. Here we go. And it comes with a drink. And it comes with a drink. Who's going to pity Chama that's bit with the serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beast. You go into a safari. You, a safari. You don't have a guide. You in, you're in a foreign land. You see? On um, with an unknown territory. And you go around, mess around. And this ain't no. You get mauled to deletion by a wild beast. Is anybody going to feel bad for you, yo? You was, look, it's, it's lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my over there. You know what I'm saying? But you're like, yo. Oh, I got it, y'all. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That's the average Negro, Latino, Native American in mind state. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need nobody to tell me now. I'm grown. I'm grown. I'm grown. Look at your grown ass now. No, I'm saying in and out the motherfucking um, H. H to the Izzo, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about, you see? In and out that thing, you know what I'm saying? Fucking B L O O D, you know what I'm saying? Clocks every damn well, you see? Just threw out there, man, because you drunk that man, you're you trusting in your enemy. Let's jump down. Really trusting in this devil. Oh, yeah, there's, there's some good ones. There's some good ones. You ninjas really fell in. You got these other false Israelite groups, you know what I'm saying? Tell them something. It is some good ones out there. The Lord said, ain't none of them good. So, Rock chapter 12. Salakia. So must have ran into a spider web or something. So Rock chapter 12, verse um 16. An enemy, your enemy Israel, speaketh with sweet, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. But in his heart, in his mind, he imagined if I had to throw thee into a pit. He always thinking about trapping you up, right? It says, um, he will weep with his eyes. He, he, he'll, he'll make it seem like he's feeling bad for you, right? But, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. This dude wants to see you leaking, right? If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. You start catching hell, you're going to find your enemy there, right? right? It says, and though he pretend to help thee. See, that's one thing about our people. This man is pretending to help our people. Came up with a uh, came up with a concoction. You know what I'm saying we got to use words. You know what I'm saying you know through the spirit wisely, of course. He came up with a concoction to make you think that he he was creating it to help you. And then the thing about it, what, what do he say? Uh, um, we're, we're here. We want you Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians. You know what I'm saying to take it first because we love you. We we love you so much. We created it. We really created this for y'all. Just like the Tuskegee Airmen, they created it for them. You saw what they did, right? You saw what happened to the Tuskegee Airmen, right? Oh yeah, we created this for y'all. We want y'all to feel so better. We, we know we've been doing y'all wrong for hundreds of years. You're doing wrong. We've been doing y'all wrong for hundreds of years. You know what I'm saying? So we want to just want to correct our wrongs. You know what I'm saying? We want to make our we want to make our wrongs right. You know what I'm saying? You see, we want, we want to finally show y'all some love. So we're gonna leave, we're gonna put y'all at the front of the line. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can take this concoction. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can drink this down, drink this down Kool Aid. You know what I'm saying? This potion of love. You know what I'm saying? Because we love you so much. We love you and all this madness, man. And our people just drunk it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, shit. Some of the Israelites when they got three, four cups. You know what I'm saying? 
We got like three phone calls, man. They, they got on that Boost mobile phone, if you know what I'm talking about, too. Through, man. What it say? An enemy speaking sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, in his mind, he imagined if I had to throw thee into a pit. Going right back to this picture right here. Going right back to this picture right here. Look, look, look. Do you know who I am? Yes, the devil. You know what I'm saying? Yes, the devil. Even a baby. You mean tell me a baby knows who that is? You see it right there. You know what I'm saying? And this is who the average Israelite group is worshiping too. This, the average Israelite group is coming in the name of this dude right here. Christ, 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 Christ. You got the average Israelite group told their congregation to take that damn juice, man. That damn Capri Sun, man. But oh, yeah, follow them, right? Follow them, right? Ye are of your father, the devil, man. You see? And you're going to do exactly like he do. Just roughly paraphrasing. Brothers can put that up on the comment board. So let's go back. Do you know who I am? Yeah, the goddamn devil. That's who you is, man. What it say? He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he would not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Everything this dude does, he seen, he's pretending to help thee. Let's get this right quick. This ain't gonna be too long, just you know what I'm saying? Uh, some, uh, I just started my break and I wanted to get something in right quick. I was thinking about this earlier, a couple of hours ago. Some of them are good, brother, but well, you can't say all of them are bad. Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Consider the work of the Most High. For who can make that straight which he hath made crooked? So the God of the Bible created this devil, you know what I'm saying, to be a crook, to be the villain, you see? To be the low life pieces of shit they are, you see? To be the, the scums, the slanderers, the, um, the harbinger of death, all the above, man, you see? The devil, the deceiver, you see? He was created to be that way. Once again, Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Consider the work of the Most High Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, right? For who can make that straight which he have made crooked? You got our people actually actually praying for these devils to get to show them some love. They actually, like the scripture say, they trust in oppression. They trust that this devil is going to finally show them some love. The Lord said you can't make this man straight. You can't make him become good. You can't make him go walk the straight and narrow. Be what it was a straight up guy, like sort of speak. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was created to be the crook. He was created to be the wicked, man. You see? And long as the wicked is ruling the earth, you going to mourn. What's that other one? What's that other one about a oh, damn crook? I can't think of the other one. Let's go here. Um, oh, what is that? Um, Cursed be he that trusted in man. Is that it? Let's see. See if I can get that. It's already up there. Let's see if that's it. Is that how, it's, how it go? Let's see. What does it say? Woe to him that trusted in man. What is that at? Damn. Process of time. What's a whole lot of scripture with that in it? Let's see. I'm not probably not gonna be able to find that. Damn. But I will get this though for process of time. Brothers know what scripture I'm talking about though. Um cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Let's get this though. Just for process of time. Never trust your enemy. What is it, three and five? Um, Proverbs chapter three, verse five, and it reads, trust in the Lord, Yahweh, who they're going to call God through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you're going to call Jesus with all thine heart, with all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. Now this dude, this dude, um, Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hyde, y'all know who I'm talking about. I said his name in the beginning of the video. Now he's in court right about nothing, I'm saying, being asked questions and shit about his so-called science. Science false, falsely so-called. You see? What is, what is it? Physicians of no value. Physicians of no value, man. You see? Are people really trusting in these devils, man? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, all your mind, and lean not into thy own understanding. You want to come back to work, you got to take this juice. You got to take this damn Kool-Aid. You want to get on a plane, take this Kool-Aid. You want to go to the gym, take this Kool-Aid. Want to go to the um, movies, to the movies, take this Kool-Aid. It's Kool-Aid, 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 Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? And our people drunk that shit, man. Drunk two, three cups of it, man. And now look through. Now it's coming up that all the whole shit was made up. And the Bible been telling you the whole time that they that all this shit was farce. No, say it was made up shit. But no, boy, yeah, we was a crazy one, though, right? Yeah, don't listen to the bums, right? Listen to the rich men, you know what I'm saying? They had you drink that damn Capri Sun, right? And then you somewhere feeling guilty as hell. Sounds like I don't feel like I believe in the Lord again. I just feel like, feel like my spirit is leaving my body. That's what you get for trusting in the damn rich man, you know what I'm saying? Full of lies. 
Oh yeah, the bum. Don't trust in the bum, the bum, the bum, cause they they garbage. You ninja sound just like you know what I'm saying um fucking the, the the black woman. You see the average Israelite group leader. You know what I'm saying these men they sound like fucking um angry. What what is it um the A B W the angry black woman. I always um, always ridiculing uh, Jake on, on what he got and what he don't got. Oh yeah, them shoes don't. You ain't got better shoes than that. How much money you got? You making six figures? You can't be with me. You know what I'm saying if you ain't make. That's how the other Israelite group sound, man. What, you, what neighborhood you stay in? What kind of house you got? That shit lame as hell, man. That, that's that spirit of sleazy E2, man. Trying to pretty much um, rate you on what you wear and how much money you got. You see? These dudes carnal as hell. And they, and they, they, they had people, they had all kind of people take that damn juice, yo. You had IUIC tell their congregation to take the damn juice. You had um, ISUBK tell their congregation to take the damn juice. You already know Gok. You already know Gok. You know what I'm saying? Um, what is it? Um, G-O-C-C. You know they told their congregation to take the damn juice because everybody trusting in this devil and all of them got the 501c3 charters. Y'all must have ran into a spider web or something. I don't see none, but... Oh, yeah, when you're in trouble, who you going to pray to if you don't know the name? Come on, man. It says, um, in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. But you're not acknowledging Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You're acknowledging God and Christ's blessed. You know what I'm saying? And that 501c3 that charter, you know what I'm saying? To make you tax exempt, you get to keep all this damn money. But but um, give your soul away the whole time. Let's see what else I want to get. Because like I said before, this, this is something um, short. Something short. I still got enough time. I still got, I still got about, about 20 more minutes on my break, though. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 8, and it reads, Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit you nothing. None of this devil, no saying, is on trial. Now, which is, it's all farce anyway. That court shit, it's all, it's all farce, no saying. They really ain't taking this man to court. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna do nothing to this devil, man. This devil didn't leave millions of people, man. Behind that damn concoction, you know what I'm saying? And you Israelites get exactly what you deserve. Believe in them, yo. Trust in lying words that can't profit you anything, yo. And the average Israelite group is furthering, you know what I'm saying, the, um, the system of this devil, man. You see? He, they, they're further, help furthering this man enterprise, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to be locked into the system, yo. We, we got a 501c3. We got a 501c3 charter, you know what I'm saying? So we can grow, so we can grow. We grow. Where's that at written in the scriptures, man? Make no covenant with them. What it say? Make no covenant with them and choose none of their gods. What about that scripture? You see? Let's get this. Let's get um, Proverbs. Still in Proverbs. Proverbs 29. Let's get this right quick. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. And it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through what? The people mourn. So you, you, you wonder why you mourning right about now, Israel? Because the wicked bear through. The, the people that these other Israelite groups are telling you to take heed to. You mourning, man. Listen, listen to these guys. The earth is being ran by a wicked nation. And our people are telling you to listen to these jokers, man. You see? What it say again? Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. And the Lord said, you can't make something straight that he created to be crooked. And I want to get this. It was a roaring lion. That was jagged ass shit. Let's get this. Proverbs 28 and 15. And it reads, as a roaring lion and as a raging bear, so is a wicked ruler over the poor people. So us Israelites, we're always going to be catching hell. You know what I'm saying? Up under this devil. And he's going to come against us like a roaring lion and as a raging bear. And what the, and what the little baby said right here? Uh, what did this devil say to the baby? Do you know who I am? Yes, the devil. We, we know you the deceiver. And we ain't trusting in nothing that you say. We ain't trusting in your damn false science so-called. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trusting in none of your concoctions. These two-thirds, they can trust in your nonsense, you see? Oh, yeah, you want to, oh, yeah, and this devil going to make it mandatory that you're taking a plantable device to work too soon come. In order for you to go to these different businesses, these different establishments, look, it's going to be made mandatory that you take um, in, an, um, in a plantable device, a C-hip, a caragma, in order to get into the building, in order to get some food, you know what I'm saying, in order to get into the grocery store, in order to get in the plane. And that's some shit that came out to where, you know what I'm saying, 150 um, passengers. Be careful, you brothers and sisters, be careful getting on these airplanes, you know what I'm saying, on these trains, getting on these buses. 
Because because this devil about to make his move. Now we told you this devil was gonna come in like a flood. We told you according to the Bible that this devil was getting ready to come in like a flood, sparing none. But oh yeah, everything was a damn joke. My husband, see, that's what I'm saying. While we've been warning you, see Jeremiah 28 and 8, you know what I'm saying? The wheel's starting to roll now. Jeremiah 28 and what would say the wheel starting to turn? Jeremiah 28 and 8, you know what I'm saying? We've been warning you of evils, of pestilence, of war, of anarchy, of chaos, of all this while everybody else jet setting, having fun, breaking out the schedules the wrong way, um, calling on false gods. But y'all can have it though. Oh yeah, um, bragging about how good their clothes look. That shit ain't gonna save you when all hell break loose, man. Do you not see all hell breaking loose? And then never trust your enemy. This whole system won't set up for us to shit. Well, what to say? We're the outcasts. Meaning what? You go into the definition for the word outcast is pretty much a whole system that was set up to, to keep you oppressed, man. For you to never get ahead. That's where we at right about now in Babylon the Great. So once again, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 15. As a roaring lion, which is a vicious beast, and as a raging bear, another vicious beast that would, that would devour you, you see? So is a wicked ruler over the poor people. And then going right back to Sirach uh, 10, it says, um, uh, what did it say? Um... An unrighteous ruler. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. I probably ended on this. Hey, like I said before, this ain't gonna be nothing long. Something quick. It don't take no time to do a lesson. It don't take no time to do a lesson. Sirach so chapter 10. Verse um, what was it? Up here, yeah. Sirach so chapter 10, verse um three. An unwise king destroyeth his people. Are we not being destroyed? Is everybody fucking everybody threw out here right about now? Why? Because you got an unwise king, aka an unwise ruler, ruling the earth, man. All right. It says an unwise king, an unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set one over it that he will set over it one that is profitable. So soon come the Lord gonna take this goddamn devil down. Him man is him man is minions. You know what I'm saying? Along with two thirds of our people, you know what I'm saying? They want to roll. What the scripture say? Um, though hand join the hand, this, the wicked shall not go unpunished. And, and everybody that's joined with them, there's two separate scriptures, and everyone that's joined with them shall be thrust through by the sword. You see, that's the time that we're living in right about now. Not living in a time of bragging of what you fucking got. That don't mean nothing to the Lord. Are they a bunch? Oh, yeah, the scriptures go into that anyway. Second Timothy chapter um, three, right? Men were going to be lovers of themselves. They're going to be boasters. They're going to be bragging every time they go. They turn around. Oh, yeah, they were going to be despisers of those that was good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, the scriptures go into how... Um, you despising the poor, you know what I'm saying? You despise the poor, you know what I'm saying? Now, how that look, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We're talking down on the less fortunate, yo. That, 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 you, that let you know right there that you small as shit, man. You small as shit in the Bible if you're talking down on the poor, man. Because we ain't got the fancy cars, the fancy suits, the damn shiny ass suits like Puff Daddy, you know what I'm saying? Damn Mace back in the damn um, late 90s, yo. This is when we ain't coming in that spirit, you know what I'm saying? We, we bums now. Just because we ain't got the riches that y'all, man, we don't want that shit, man. Look what y'all had to do to get the riches, man. You see? But the Lord says, soon come, he's going to set one over the earth that is profitable. Meaning the Lord Yahweh is going to rule the earth with righteousness. Everything is going to rejoice pursuant to Romans, the eighth chapter, right? Let's see what else before I go a little closing scripture. And then I'm gone. And I'm gone. Never trust thy enemy. What else did I want to get? See what else did I want to get? I'm drawing a blank right about now. I know brothers put something up there. I'm drawing a blank right about now. Matter of fact, um. I'm gonna just bring out who the, who our enemy is right quick. Cause I got up there, never trust thy enemy. So I just want to bring out who the enemies is, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Psalm chapter 83. I'm gonna wrap it up after this, Israel. I'm gone. Get back to work, yo. Oh no, no, I'm a bum. No, so you mean tell me I'm at work? I'm on lunch break. I'm a bum, yo. I thought bums don't have jobs, yo. I'm, I'm, you know, damn, I'm a bum. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to have no phone. Damn, I'm a bum. I gotta watch. Damn. Damn, I'm a bum, y'all. I, I supposed to be, I supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, a trash can somewhere digging out, you know what I'm saying? We don't mind being bums for the Lord. You see? We don't mind being bums for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. A greater reward is coming. This ain't our this ain't our rest anyway. We don't give a damn about America, man. You see? Y'all the ones that still walking around trying to you know what I'm saying be damn superstars in a fallen system. You see? This is Psalm chapter 83. Verse um. I read two, and I'm gonna read it pretty quick, two on down. For lo, thine enemies, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They, the enemies, have taken crafty counsel against thy people, against the Israelites, and consulted against thy hidden ones, the Israelites, us. 
Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, Israelites has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth to make look like these different nations. These heathen nations took crafty counsel against us, man. To take out to do to do what? They have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Oh, Salakim. Matter of fact, I, I jumped, Salakim. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Are we not hearing this? Are we not hearing this? You see, the people that are just actually ruling over us, they help, you know what I'm saying, um, pretty much take our nationality away from us. I mean, it's all through the spirit. It's part of the Lord's movie. But they help beat, beat our nationality out of us. But these are the people, you know what I'm saying, that these Hebrew Israelite groups are, you know what I'm saying, are pretty much um, working with. You see? The same people, you know what I'm saying, they help beat our nationality out of us. You got the average Israelite, you know what I'm saying, um, helping them, you know what I'm saying, further oppress the hell out of us, man. You see? What it say they have they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel, Yasha Allah, may be no more in remembrance. Let's read on. They have come that's that's why we um was calling ourselves black, Latino, Native American, all that, right? You see, oh yeah, Jesus, Jesus the Christ, you know what I'm saying? That's why we was calling on that name. Our nationality got beat out of us. The name of our true power in the Hebrew tongue got beat out of us. All that, right? Where we where we came from, that got beat out of us, right? It says, um, the tabernacles of Edom, Sleazy E, the people that's actually ruling the earth, and the Ishmaelites, the Arabs, you know what I'm saying? See, these are um, the biblical terms, right? It says Moab, the Gooks, and the Hagarines, Gabal, and Ammon. Just going through the names of the people, you know what I'm saying, of our enemies, right, that we're never, supposed to never trust, right? No matter what, um, it doesn't matter how much money, you know what I'm saying? You see, it doesn't matter how much money, how much fame, you know what I'm saying? Never trust your enemy, right? Gabal and Ammon, um, fucking um, the Japanese, little, little, little and Amalek, they are small hats, man. Small hats, right? The Lord said never trust them, man. The small hats, they pretty much behind every damn thing, man. They pretty much run everything, them big nose people. You know what I'm saying? They run everything, man. You see? Uh, with, with them tunnel diggers, if you know what I mean. Them damn tunnel diggers, right? You see? It says, and the Philistines, the damn Hamites, with, with the inhabitants of Tyre, Asher also is joined with them. They have hardened helping the children of Lot, Salah. So these are the people that we do not supposed to trust. You see, you see all that, Israel? This is what we're supposed to be talking about. Not no damn husband loves their wives and all this shit. Oh, yeah, look how much I got. Look at my car. Look at my house. No, man. This is what we're supposed to be warning our people about. Our damn enemies, man. And they never trust them. Just like this baby right here. This baby know who this the baby this baby right here knows who this guy is on the left hand side. You see, mean to tell me this baby knows who this devil is on the left hand side, but you Israelites don't, you grown ass men and women, mean to tell me you don't. Do you know who I am? Yes, the devil. Never trust thine enemy. Shut up.